Yo, 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 Fiesta Plaza Movie Town. We are back, flavors at Fiesta. This is the Carnival Cookout Edition, and we are so glad we'll be here for the next four weeks and bringing it to you live and alive from Uptown Port of Spain here in Sweet Tea and Tea. Wherever you are in the Caribbean, North America, Canada, it is not too late. Come down to the greatest show on earth. This is TNT Carnival, and boy, oh boy, one of the biggest fets on the calendar is fetting with the saints. This segment is called Fet and Food, and this particular segment, as we open things up, these two gentlemen are of alumni of St. Mary's College. Fetting with the saints is the fet to be at in Carnival 2020. Can I give a quick story before I introduce you? So, Fetting with the Saints, guys, is, is a fet that started 18 years ago. So, it is a big adult now. It's a, Fetting with the Saints is turned to be a, an adult now. It started 2013. I think I probably started... 2003. 2003, sorry, yes. And over the years, the fet started in the school ground. And it would have been one of those fets that you go to and the energy would captivate you and you just feel so good after the fet. And... Of course, the Fed kept growing over the years. And it's bright boys at St. Mary's College. The timing of moving the Fed from the school ground to the park, to St. Mary's grounds, I think was so well timed that it was one of those things that you just looked at and said, yes, timing. And it just blossomed and grew from there. It is now today one of the must attend fets. You can't get tickets anywhere. Tickets, tickets sold out. out. So don't bother to ask these boys for tickets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brevard Nelson and uh, Roberto Ramirez of St. Mary's College. Yeah? Thank I you, wanted thanks. to give one of little pips there, boy. Yeah, because, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I mean that because I said I would have attended the fet at least for probably the last decade or so. And, and I saw the growth of, of, of the fet. Um, and, and I know it's a lot of hard work that went behind it, and even taking it to the, to, 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 to the grounds was, was, was an amazing achievement. How are you guys feeling after 18 years of this fet, man? We're very happy to see it has reached after 18 years. Actually, we're quite proud of our achievement. Um, it was, I mean, there's a lot of hard work, a lot of suffering in the early years, begging people to buy tickets. Now we reach a stage where, I mean, we can't print enough tickets, yeah. but we're not too sure which problem is worse, having to beg people to buy tickets, or having to tell people, sorry, we, we can't sell can't your ticket. Sell, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. both, both are problems we have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And over the years, we, we have been able to evolve the effect. So as you said, you know, you, you attended it at the school, at the college. And, you know, that had a particular vibe. You know, yeah. a lot of the old boys who would come back to the school and they have a nostalgic feel um, coming back into the college and having a, a, an event at the college. Moving it to down grounds, which was strategic, and Roberto could give you the story about even that transition from school to grounds. But our grounds is also part of our college and our, our, our history as well. So going down to grounds with more room and a picturesque background, etc., was also a strategic move. And a lot of the old boys actually applauded that. And that is something since we've actually gone down grounds, we've been sold out. For the last six years, we've yeah. been a sold out event. Six years at the grounds. Yeah. Well, Six years at the ground. But Rebel, so, so, so tell me, because wasn't that a little frightening, boy, moving out of the comfort and safety of the schoolyard, open ground, so much different logistical issues? That was not a little frightening? Well, well it was managed risk, eh? I mean, when we were thinking how else we could get more out of the FET, we realized, I mean, the majority of the cost in the FET, the most of the fixed cost, in terms of um, the stage, the light, the sound system, the, the DJs, the bands. No matter how many people in the same so, uh, same course you have, yeah, so yeah. we thought first to be able to give more executions, more give the, give the public more, give the patrons more. We needed to have a bigger crowd to share the cost. Yeah. Um. So we said at the school grounds we could only hold twenty five hundred people, so we had to find a way to be able to get more people into the effect. And we said we have to have a new venue, and the grounds was there for us. So in twenty thirteen we said we're going to move to the grounds in twenty fifteen. But the first to be able to do that we have to show that we can sell out the, the school. Yeah. So in 2014, we changed up everything. We got new song systems. We, got, we went all out with the deco and the band. We, we got Marshall. And we sold out in 2014. So we said, we can sell out of it. We go into grounds. We can sell out. No grounds. turning back after yeah, that. So we, it was a managed risk. We knew what we were doing. It's yeah, just that yeah. let's go. It's that we jump in, take a, a jump in the dark. We, we knew what we were doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
let, let, let's yeah. talk first, guys, because uh, most of you who may not be aware, um, th there are a number of top all-inclusive fets that happen here during the carnival season in Tobago. A lot of them are attached uh, to some of the, the schools here in Tobago, and guys like these. Uh, who are alumni of these schools? They 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 put out. You guys are not paid. No no no. Well, you just want, no 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 volunteers. No, volunteers. Um, and it's really about giving back to the school. So sometimes yes, these fets are fets are highly priced. You get a wonderful experience, but a lot of it goes back to the school. Brother, you could probably tell all me. of it. All, actually all goes, of it. One hundred percent goes back to the school. All of the profit goes to the school. Right. And that's it. That's a key thing, right? So. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head. We're all volunteers and we're giving back to our alma mater. Yeah. The reality is that when we were in school, someone actually paved the way for us and yeah. gave back to the school to, to give us some of the, the amenities that we had at the time. Yeah. So we're taking the opportunity to give back and pay it forward to the current students. Yeah. And this is one of the, the ways that we actually would do that. And so um, over the last few years, let's say the last 10 years, we've had projects like air conditioning the Centenary Hall, um, refurbishing the, the, the chemistry lab, which was the most recent project, and that cost $1.5 million. That's wow. a significant amount. So in order to do that type of uh, refurbishment at the school, we need to actually raise funds, and we need to do, you know, provide an excellent event that will raise and generate the appropriate funds to help the school with the different capital expenditure, and as well as some operating costs as well. Yeah, well, what, what, what some of the goals going forward I mean, as, as the, the 2020, this is 18 years of the FET, what are some of the plans going forward in terms of the school? And well, the school always has needs, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, people sometimes underestimate the cost of actually running a school. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're operating costs, but there are also things like the, the AV room, um, the library that we're focused on this time around, yeah. as well as uh, development of the teachers, even some of the other labs. So we're Maintenance constantly almost, focused, yeah, yeah, yeah. constantly focused on different areas, but not only on capital expenditure for infrastructure, but also helping the, stu the, the, the students as well as the teachers with development programs, etc. So every year, uh, the, the FED has a, a theme. Um, and this year, it's February 1st, guys, February 1st. So put it on the calendar. If you're not here yet, get in here, get a ticket somehow, stand up outside the FED and say, Brevard! Roberto! <laughs> Get in there. The, the theme this year is Go Beyond. Can you explain the theme this year? Go Beyond. Go Beyond. Um, what are you trying to get? What are you, what are you trying to create? Is it you're, you're leaving the mundane world, a sober mundane world, <laughs> to go into a world, a realm of. I'm, I'm liking uh, this. Enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> So a, a euphoric Probably kind of like world, right? So you're going into a euphoric world, you're going right. to party like you've never partied before, you're going to experience fetting that you've never experienced before, something that will heighten all your senses. Nice. Um, from it, it taste, your smell. The, it, we, so it's, we're going to spend a lot of money on decor again like we did last year. Actually, our, de our, our decorative creator guy, he said he's going to take it beyond what we would be at. Yeah, so beyond. so we, we, ex we have, I think we have lifted the bar yeah. to a level that no one has reached us yet in yeah. terms of the deck one. We expect to take it even higher again this year. So, so, so I mean, it, it also has become, you no. Know, I think with each year, I saw improvement. I saw, you know, taking it to the next level, pushing the envelope. Um, and, and the food, this is fat and food. Cup of Joe is about food and drink. And, and the food at the fat with every passing year, Continue, I think, to wow members who would, would come to the FET to enjoy the experience. Um, this year, what can we expect? Because I don't know how I could go beyond what I experienced last year. Last year was fantastic. I mean, we, we're going to have a lot of the same food plus a lot of new ones. So, yeah. I mean, we'll have the normal Creole food. You'll get your, your Singapore stuff. You will get your Arabic foods. We're going to have a carving station in the VIP with lamb and beef. You're going to have a cheese station. Yeah. Um, you're going to have um ceviche ceviche um you're gonna have sushi shots, yeah, 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 it's, yeah i mean it's gonna be a lot of different things yeah it, it's gonna be a wide variety you're gonna have authentic indian food you're gonna have you're gonna have soca samosas on board this year yeah. so they're gonna bring the chat and the samosas we bring in um a, quite a few different caterers a few dropped out a few new ones coming on a few surprises so, yeah a few surprises, a few surprises. We, in terms of the drinks i mean i don't know if you want me to talk about the drinks but you, the talk drinks about drink, you want to get yeah. any the food well yeah, that's the thing every year we challenge ourselves to yeah. to do better right yeah. um and that's one of the things every year when we come back here we're talking about the 
the, the, the evolution. Yeah. And we look at every aspect of the event and see how we could improve. And so food obviously is, is one of those areas. So we, we look at the chefs, we look at the, the, the meals, we look at the, the portions. And, you know, quite frankly, every single year we've had people leaving with food at the end of the fed yeah. and going, literally packing a, a bag for their Sunday lunch. So I think this is the first fed that you all started to, to, to do this at. Uh, yeah. Actually, we, we bring takeaway containers. So you enjoy food at the event yeah. as well as you stock up for your Sunday lunch yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, because but you can't cook on Sunday when you finish. When you, when you, when you finish. Yeah. Oh, come on. So we, we try to ensure that you're getting value for your money because yeah, yeah. we understand the times that we're in yeah. and we know that you know what look if, if we're going to put out money we want to make sure we deliver quality and we deliver value to our patrons so so february 1st um the food has improved <laughs> roberto wanted to get the drinks very quickly <laughs> of course right? yeah that's important roberto, why you want to get the drinks so quickly <laughs> honestly yeah. <laughs> <this game. laughs> tell me about the drinks because i i know for sure um you you, you get top class drinks and and this Prosecco is, is one of the drinks I'm sure will be served. Um, at, yeah, we, we will be having the Kamikuri yes. Prosecco as well as other Kami, um, Proseccos. And in, in the Fed, we'll be also having several brands of champagne as well, too. Right. I mean, we have about three different brands of scotch, three different brands. Well, we have one rum because we have exclusively the rum. We have vodkas, different vodkas. We have Belvedere, yeah. we have so Grey full, Goose. Full drinks. You don't full have to drinks. worry about drinks. Every, Everything you want. Everything you yeah. want. The, the beautiful uh, thing about about the experience at Fetori Saints. I mean, those who've been there, you know, count yourself lucky because you, you've had the experience. But those who haven't, yeah. when you go there, pretty much anything that you want or desire yeah. in terms of food or drink or what have you, it's within arm's reach. Yeah, yeah. So you can actually walk to a bar, get to, get to your favorite type of drink or your favorite meal. And it's very easy. It's convenient. And, you know, you enjoy yourself at the event. We'll talk about the entertainment in a while. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes some of these fets, they have little special, little nuances now that you never really saw in fets before, but the all-inclusive experience. Um, the ladies could probably go and get their nails done. Yeah. They, they could go and get a massage after a tired yeah. jump. Yeah. Anything like that? Or? I mean, we, 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 we have that. We have always had that, yeah. We have the makeup, makeup stations. Yeah. And so and those things are like standard and stuff, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. standard, yeah. We've had that for the last few years. So well. those things stand yeah. no. Those things stand no. Um, guys, we continue talking, but I, I want to introduce a young gentleman uh, that has made some fantastic cocktails on this show. We're moving straight into what we call Happy Hour. All right. And because we have the guys here from St. Mary's College and Fetting with the Saints is on February 1st at the St. Mary's grounds. Um, are there tickets still available? No. <laughs> but, no. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, me 